we will discuss counter current mechanism now. As we talked about earlier that the organisms which have gills form or as respiratory structures, they encounter certain problems. And the most effective mechanism to overcome those problems is counter current mechanism. We need to understand uh, one more thing before we actually start with counter current and that is co-current. Co and current or here counter and current is in reference to water and blood. Co-current means the two flu liquids, one is water, other is blood. If they flow in the same direction, then we will call it co-current. And if they flow in opposite direction, then we will call it counter current. So, if we represent this blue pipe-like structure taking water and the red structure taking blood. So this is the blood vessel and this is the water. And as we said, we are talking of co-current first so that we understand how this uh, mechanism helps in proper exchange of gases. So here, Water and blood through the capillaries, they flow in the same direction. Say, this is the direction in which these two liquids are flowing. Water which is entering the gills, it is 100% saturated with oxygen. So, saturation with oxygen here is 100%. And the blood which is coming into the gills through the capillaries is deoxygenated blood. That means the oxygen content is less and it is not going to be zero. So we'll have to take some figure, say 10%. So here there is 100 and here is 10. And we know gases, they diffuse from higher concentration to lower concentration. So there would be diffusion of oxygen from water to blood. The next stage as the two liquids are moving together here the concentration becomes 90 here it becomes 20 80 30 70 40 a situation is going to come where here is 50 percent and here is also 50 percent. When this situation is reached we call it equilibrium and after equilibrium there is no net movement of gases that means when we say higher to lower we have to have a gradient higher oxygen content to lower here at both the places the oxygen concentration is same so there is no net diffusion so this water which leaves goes out with 50% of oxygen and the blood which is coming here has only 50% of oxygen. So this is not an effective method when, when two liquids are moving together in the same direction, this is what is co-current, then exchange of gases does take place between water and the blood. But because a situation comes which is equilibrium 50 50 so blood goes sorry the water goes out with that 50 percent of oxygen and in other words we can say the blood is able to take only 50 percent and as we have seen in the earlier segment that in water the oxygen content anyways is very less as compared to air and if out of that 50 percent is not able to, uh, to diffuse then that is not an effective mechanism and that is why counter current mechanism is considered as the best adaptation. Again, we will take the same two uh, liquids, water and blood, but here they are going to flow in the opposite direction. This blue represents the flow of water and the red one for blood, which is the blood vessel. 
the two liquids are going to flow in opposite direction. Say the water enters from the same, but the blood is coming from here. And again, we'll take the same number here. It is 100% saturated. So oxygen saturation is 100%. In the water which is entering closer to the gills. The gills are supplied with the blood. The blood which enters here is deoxygenated blood. That means it has only 10% of uh, oxygen content. It is the same blood which comes here 10% and it goes out. Now, higher concentration to lower concentration. It becomes 90 here, 20 and this blood with more oxygen is again going to go out. The fresh blood which is coming here is with 10%. The blood, he, uh, sorry, the water has 80% uh, oxygen. Again, from higher to lower. This becomes 20 and again leaves the fresh blood which comes here is 10% oxygen. The water has 70. Again, there is a concentration gradient. So, oxygen diffuses from water to blood. This again becomes 20 and goes out. The fresh blood which comes here is having only 10%. Here it is 60. Still, there is a concentration gradient. This 10 would become 20 because diffusion takes place. And this would again leave the fresh blood, again 10%. Here is 50, still concentration gradient. That means this will become 20 and again go out. This will go on and on and on till it becomes 10 and 10. Now concentration is equal. But here when water leaves, it has only 10%. And the blood which is here has taken 90% of that oxygen. That means with this mechanism, the water which comes in is always bringing more and more oxygen. And the blood which encounters or comes in front of this water flow always has lesser concentration. So no matter how this concentration goes down in water, the blood which is in front of it is always at a less concentration. So diffusion keeps taking. So if we have understood co-current concentration equilibrium is attained at 50%. That means only 50% of oxygen from water can diffuse into the blood. Whereas in counter current where water and blood they are flowing in the opposite direction in these two close areas. Exchange of gases is possible up to 90%. Reason, every time water comes in contact with that blood vessel, the blood vessel is always having a lesser concentration of oxygen. So water, uh, the oxygen which is in water keeps diffusing into the blood. So water leaves with minimum oxygen left and the blood takes maximum oxygen. So this is a more effective method of exchange of gases. And that is why organisms in which gills are the respiratory structures, one, they maintain a continuous flow of water. And second, they have counter current mechanism. And that is why we compared it with co-current so that it is very clear uh, to us that counter current is an effective method of gaseous exchange. So this is respiration through gills.